Hello, Columbia, and welcome to City View, where we bring you an inside view of the city of Columbia. I'm your host, Leisha Yutsi. In our top story, we take you to the grand opening and ribbon cutting for the Busby Street Community Resource and Training Complex. This is a great example of what happens when communities come together, stay focused, find common ground, and really apply their experiences uh, on behalf uh, of the communities. That's what this is all about. Playground over here, intergenerational. Uh, senior citizens facility, playground there, and uh, making this community uh, safer, and the police substation here. That's what it's all about. Anytime we can bring police services right into a community like this, I, I think it's, um, it's, it's terrific. Um, you know, this, is, this will be the Office of Community Services for us. Um, so a lot of um, the units that are providing community services um, will be housed right here. There'll be a lot of activity here. It's one of the first times we've co-mingled ourselves with another city division, um, being park and recreation. Um, I think that is a great partnership. Um, I, I think you'll see us working in tandem with them um, in programming for our community. Um, we intend to hold community meetings here and have different events here. So I, um, endeavors like this strengthen communities. And speaking of ribbon cuttings, we now take you to Cap Gemini, which is located in the first base building at Bull Street. What became a delivery center and then an advanced technology de development center, uh, now this uh, um, focus on cybersecurity, recognizing the changing uh, and perilous uh, world in which we live and which we have to protect um, um, literally trillions of dollars of assets and the great work that Cap Gemini does on behalf of, the, of its clients. Uh, recognizing the incredible draw this is in, uh, in bringing talent in from around the world, but also in retaining the great talent that we have coming out of the University of South Carolina and all of our colleges and institutions, and the focus on developing uh, the future uh, workforce. And now we take you from facilities that recently opened to a facility that will open coming soon. We take you to a hard hat tour and sneak peek at the veranda at North Main. This project adds to the corridor development of North Main. Uh, with this 10 million and then the 40 million streets, Gabe, you look at those together, that's 50 million in development. We also own the commercial properties next door uh, where we work very hard to get senior type services there. Um, a lot of our seniors are, may not have transportation or even if they do, it makes it very easy to go across the street and get your prescription filled or go to the dentist or the podiatry office. and. You know, Palmetto Health is just around the corner. Um, the bus line stops right in front for those who may not have transportation. So it's kind of a senior hub. And then Hyatt Park will be going through a renovation in the next couple of, uh, well, next year, I think. So the seniors will have a great place to go across the street and uh, outside space. Although we have a lot of inside space. We have a, what they call a cardiac room or exercise room, as most of us know it, a community room and a game room. So we're, we're expecting seniors to have a good place to come together um, and social aspects of, of senior living. Have you ever had lunch with a planner? Well, if not, you have the opportunity to have lunch with the city's planning and development services staff. They've been hosting monthly lunch with a planner sessions in order to discuss the Columbia Compass Envision 2036 plan and other planning issues. Looking at where the city needs to be in 10 years, wants to be in 10 years, or even 20 or 30, because sometimes those things that you want to be farther out, you set up the uh, uh, the building blocks now that get you someplace else. And so, um, with with putting a city together, a lot of things take a lot of time. They don't happen as as quickly as ordering something online, for example. Um, and so, um, we're really just engaging with people, trying to find out. You know, what are the successes that they feel Columbia's had in the last couple decades? Where are we now? Where do we need to move forward from? Um, and it's been interesting. It is the time of year for the City of Columbia's annual Arbor Day Recognition Ceremony, which was held at South Kilbourne Elementary School. Arbor Day, we've had a tradition of working with the City of Columbia with planting trees, uh, lessons that teach students about the importance, how that cycle works with oxygen, carbon dioxide, all of those things, uh, so that our students learn the, the importance of trees and environment 
at a young age and that carries with them throughout their life. Sometimes we may take our trees for, uh, for granted, uh, but part of the lesson and part of the activities that, that this event and others bring is showing students how trees impact our environment, impact our economy here in the state. So it's an opportunity to see that impact in action. And now we transition from an elementary school to Riverfront Park, where this year's Treasure Tree Ceremony for award winners was held. It was hosted by the city's Forestry and Beautification Division, along with local partners. The Treasure Tree Program is to nominate and like recognize special trees that we have in our community. Um, what was cool through the submissions that you guys got, I got to see um, these trees that I did not know about that are here in the community, in the Midlands area. Um, and I think the common theme I kept seeing was just like the nostalgia and the history that comes with a tree and how um, it can't easily be replaced and um, how special it can be and uh, the memories that are created. Um, the other thing we kind of look for um, is just like the rarity of the species um, to this area possibly or just the size. Um, and so all of these uh, trees um, have historical value or their size or they're just like a perfect specimen of what that tree should look like if you were to look at it in a book. It is always a pleasure to announce promotions of city staff. And recently, the Columbia Richland Fire Department announced a promotional ceremony for those in the department. I always try to take this personal and, and parent and folks, first of all, when they get hired, because they start a career here at the department. And it's always my pleasure to pin them when they first start. But also, I love to see them grow and go into uh, being promoted. So it's always a pleasure for me to promote, to pin them when they get promoted as well. From the firefighter to the chief, everybody got a specific role that they play. And if anybody's out of place in their role, it just throws everything off. So everybody got a specific role, so that it was read out what their job is, and everybody, especially on the fire ground, Everybody got a certain role that they have to play to make, you know, so we can go home safe. Well, it's the holiday season, so that means it's time for the city's annual official holiday ornament to be unveiled. This ornament and, and, and all of the ornaments for the last decade plus adorn the Christmas tree in the Benjamin household um, every single year. Uh, my, my children love receiving them. They love uh, uh, celebrating the authenticity of our historic structures. Uh, or iconic structures here in Columbia uh, by sharing in, in this tradition uh, given to us by the Babcock Center. Uh, it, it helps us appreciate the place that we call home and the people who make the place that we call home. The Curtis Wright Hangar is another project that the city uh, was uh, very proud to participate in and, and, and so thankful for the work that uh, the Brennans and their entire team have done in, in making that place a, a, a wonderful new place for this community to celebrate all of the things that makes Columbia special. Well, that wraps up this edition of City View. We thank you for watching, and if you have any questions about anything on this program, please call the Public Relations, Media, and Marketing Department here at the City of Columbia. Call us at 545-3020. You may visit our website at columbiasc.net, and definitely follow us on our social media platforms, as well as staying tuned right here to City TV. And remember, we are Columbia.